Google Sites is a great application for building a website. It is part of the Google Apps suite and can create many different types of websites, from public, consumer-facing sites to private, internal company intranets. Google Sites can be found at sites.google.com or simply the Sites link on the main Google navigation bar on the top of any Google service. Once logged in, you will see your Google Sites dashboard. This is the location where all of your Google Sites will be listed. If using Google Apps, you and your coworkers can search for sites that have been created within your organization or browse through the tags and categories that your coworkers have assigned to their sites. To create a Google Site, click the red Create button on the left sidebar. On this page, you'll be able to choose your template, name your site, which automatically sets the default address for your site, select a theme, and categorize your site. I absolutely recommend that businesses utilize custom categories to make it easier for employees to find sites in the future. Also note that I said default address for the site location. You can map a custom domain to your Google site later in the site creation process, but only for public sites. Once your site is created, simply click the pencil icon or press the E key to edit the page that you are currently viewing. Google Sites provides a very simple page editor that closely resembles a word processor such as Microsoft Word or Google Docs. Once in edit mode, the Google Sites editing toolbar allows you to easily format the content of your site. Back on the main Google Sites toolbar, there is another button to help you easily create new pages, which can also be done by pressing C, and a button to change the sharing and permissions of your site. Sharing and permissions can be set on a site-wide level or get more specific on a page level. So you can make a site public and still hide just a few pages behind password protection. The More menu on the Google Sites toolbar lets you access more complex features of Google Sites, such as configuring a custom domain name for your site. For this, we would click Manage Site, and then scroll down to where it says Web Address Mapping. In this tutorial, I am currently using Google Apps, so I get redirected into my Google Apps control panel to complete the mapping. Google Apps already knows my domain name and simply allows me to add the subdomain. In order to complete this configuration, we will have to make an update with our domain name company or registrar to add a CNAME record that points our new subdomain to Google Sites. The Manage Sites section of Google Sites allows you to customize your site's navigation with a simple drag and drop tool, manage attachments associated with your site, update or save your page template, or even get really custom by adding Google Apps scripting to your site. I hope this has helped you get started with Google Sites.